Hey guys, Renova here. So Slayer is confirmed for April 12th in April. It's shown a little bit of information about the class. And I took a glimpse of the skill tree and will try to be as informative as possible about the class. And of course, when that class does come out, I will have an official guide with visuals just like my previous skill tree guides. So look forward to that. But for starters, Slayer is going to be great as a subclass, which is for boosting your crit. I'm assuming it's crit chance since in the headline, it did say that it's going to be more focused on crit chance and for crit damage increase, it's probably going to be for a Slayer main class only. Slayer's add-on skills increases the crit chance when attacking downed status enemies and also gives the sub effect on reducing your photon blast cooldowns, along with the blind resistance and HP up. So in the headline, two skills were basically confirmed when they were previewing the skill tree for us. Gunblade Focus, which has a gauge, that one learned. When you attack and build up that gauge, the higher the gauge, the more damage you will do. Increasing potency, offensive PP recovery and consumptions, much like Luster. The gauge will deplete if you do not attack enemies, and will lose the progress and will reset to zero, so there's probably like one or two gauges that you can charge this up to. Overdrive grants you the active skill for the Gunblade Focus skill, so when used, it might be that dome attack you saw in the trailer, the green version. Gauge Amplifier probably lets you charge the gauge faster after using the active skill, or during the activation time. Reset PP gain increases PP recovery for a bit. Gunblade Focus Critical Up boosts your crit rate, and Gunblade Focus Overflow probably grants you either crit rate or crit potency, one of the two. The Unleashed Rage right below is another active skill, only usable as a main class. I'm sure this has its own gauge on top of its active skill like everything else. So when fully charged, you can activate it to do a one-shot blast, and its sub skill grants crit rate after using the active. And then the rest of the skill tree is speculation. I will try my best to defer what they would mean, but my info is subject to change once we actually get Slayer on the 12th. So critical up will most likely increase crit chance, not crit potency, or vice versa. Gallant attack critical up probably increases the crit chance when attacking bosses. Critical hit PP game probably increases PP recovery when landing crits. And short range hotshot probably lets you do more damage the closer you are to enemies, um, similar to gunner's mechanics or something like that, where you do more damage the closer you are and lesser damage when you're further away. Charge blades probably lets you charge your attacks, probably your normals and photon arts or something. Slugshot, this is probably the stay move arts thing where attacks will perform differently if you input a directional key while attacking, or alternate arts with uh, directional input. Relentless Blade probably increases potency whenever you're in blade form, not the gun form. And Relentless Blade Reinforce probably increases the duration and maybe potency damage. Blade Counter probably lets you counter with the blade version. So it probably has two types of counters, uh, one with a gun and one for the blade. So yeah, Gun Blade. Blade Counter Critical Up uh, probably increases your crit chance for a short time when you successfully counter. Uh, Mobile Blade. This is probably something that lets you switch in between the gun and the blade form. And mobile blade counter, um, this might switch your state whenever you successfully counter. So like, if you're using the blade form for example, you'll switch to the gun. Or if you're using the gun form, you'll switch to the blade form and vice versa. But yeah, I think that's all I can come up with in terms of my speculations on how these skills will go. Slayer looks like it's going to be a great subclass to increase its crit chance. Probably won't benefit from crit potency though, since that's probably going to be a main class only thing. As for Slayer main class, you can still rock fighter sub to deal bonus damage on downed enemies, and uh, if you rock bouncer, it might be a bit iffy since it only increases the chance of downing them to that state, but it might still work just as good. PP probably won't be an issue with Slayer since you get most of the PP back with the skills here, and Slayer does not have that optimization skill that converts your augment to the highest stat you have on your gear, so it will just stay as a ranged class. So yeah, I hope this helps. I'm excited to try Slayer and probably gonna main it for a while, and I can confirm that the color variant attack shown in the trailer is indeed from a weapon camo that Slayer has, and that weapon camo is probably a color variant as well. Not something used like a, a Trunkle's uh, color variant since that also has green photons, but yeah. And add-on increases down crit chance, so all the more reason to run fighter sub and its sub skill to reduce the photon blast cooldown. 
But yeah, that's all I have for today's video uh, regarding Slayer. I know a lot of you speculated that Slayer is going to release on the first week of April, which kind of defeats the purpose of uh, mid-April that they stated in their trailer. The first week of April, you'll be able to exchange those tickets you've been farming and collect those gun blades early on before Slayer release. And I think during that week, we're going to get Chapter 5 as well. But yeah, that's all I have so far. Um, if I have any new info to share, I will make a new video of it. But, um, yeah. Uh, I hope this helps. If it did, I'd appreciate a like and sub to the channel for more PC2 content. And if you and your friends are going to try out Slayer, it would be awesome if you could share this video and share the knowledge. But yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.